I'll just go ahead and get started with the main setup. But first, let me show you the room a little bit. This is the bed, this is where the magic, I mean, <clears throat> this is where I lay my head, you know? I usually have the Govi lights going around the base, but I kept it at the headboard. I think it looks nice at the headboard where it is. So yeah, then the, at the bottom, it interfered with the other Govi lights. So yeah, it looks better that way. This is my secondary setup, which we're gonna come back to. Go go start over here, the main setup. Got a quick little overview real quick. The top monitor is an AOC, 24 inch curve at 144 hertz. The bottom is an ASUS, 32 inch at 165 hertz. Usually people do ultra wise, but I thought the 32 inch was perfectly fine like this. It's kind of like a mini TV, of course, but yeah. Then we're gonna go down to peripherals. I have the Ducky 1 2 Mini, this custom cable from this company named Skippy. Uh, also, any product you see, I'm gonna link it in the description. If I don't link it or you see something that I didn't mention, just hit me down in the comments and I don't know, I hit you back up and with the links in it, whatever. Then I have a, this numpad not usually here, but since I work here, I use this setup for work, streaming, and gaming. But for work, I do finance, so I definitely need a numpad. But yeah, it's kind of messing up the setup to be honest, but I'm just gonna put in a video just because. I have a glorious extended mouse pad with a glorious wrist rest and a Model D also by Glorious. Then we'll go over to the PC itself. You already know the case, the overly popular the NZST H510. Inside the PC, it has an i9-9900K, 16 gigabytes of G-scale RAM, the RTX 3060 for the GPU, has a 750 watt battery, and the, AI, the AIO is a NZST S53. So yeah, it's a pretty straight PC. You know, it gets you there. For gaming, I usually get like, I probably can get easily over 200 frames, but obviously the monitor is a 165, so I'll stop it at 160. So yeah, it's a cool little PC, but I mainly game on console, not on the Switch, but on the PS5. So my PS5 has a, let me see if you see it, a WD Black with two terabytes attached to it because Sony don't like to give us space. Also have this iPad here. I use the iPad for videos and social media while I'm working or while I'm streaming, I might have the chat here. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Then the switch, you know, switch to switch. Like my second switch, I think, it's the Fortnite version. I only did it because I only bought this one for the skin because I'm that type of guy. <laughs> but yeah, so the ring light is from Amazon. I'm gonna link it. My mic, when I stream, I just pull it out. It's a Blue, it's a blue Yeti Nano. And it's, it's cool, it's a decent mic. It make you sound better than a generic Amazon mic or whatever. So yeah. The desk itself is from Ikea. It's sitting on the table risers. You know, everybody loves the Ikea desk and the Alex drawers, which I do too as well. It's a pretty cool desk. And on the back, I'm show you the back side, the cable management. Kind of, cable management is decent. I could do way better, but usually people put their desk against the wall. And I decided to go with an open desk away from the wall. So during stream, I can have it my back against the wall. I mean, I can easily fix that with a green screen, but what's the point? I like it. I like like the office setup, kind of like your box stand, like a cubicle, kind of, because that's what I'm used to. So yeah. All right, cool. Next, I want to show you all these pin boards from Ikea. I mainly just use it for storage. I have my PC memory or flash drives keyboard parts, uh, extra Apple cables. I also put my scuffs up there, my PS5 controller. I wish Scuff would hurry up and make a PS5 scuff, so you know what I'm saying? Cause it's annoying as hell not having paddles. Then I have my other laptop. I have like four or five laptops. Then my sound, I used these Corsairs. They're pretty good. And, oh, I forgot to mention, my streaming, when I stream from my PS5, I have a, I don't know if you can see it from back here, but I have a uh, HD60 Plus from Elgato, and that comes in clutch. And chair, you already know, I'm gonna put that in the bio. If you care about those, I'll let you know, I'll put a link to those as well. But yeah, let's go ahead and get over here. All right, guys, let me go ahead and show y'all the secondary setup. It's not really a setup, but I have this Ikea shelving unit. I put the iMac on it. I mainly use the iMac for editing. 
it's I mean, it's a 20 to 2020 version. It has an i5 AMD Radeon 5300 in it with 48 gigabytes of RAM, so it can handle any 4K footage or anything I can throw at it. So yeah, I mainly use this for editing, and then this side for work, gaming, and streaming. But yeah, this right here, I put the Amazon Echo Show next to it to make it look kind of like like a clean setup. I put like little plants over there to like balance it out a little bit. But yeah, this one. This out right here is kind of it's kind of it's clean as well. I think it works well. Then like if I'm not using that, obviously I can use it for like a miniature TV or something like that. But yeah, yeah, that's pretty much my setup. Here's one more overview of the room. Kind of look kind of chaotic, but yeah, you know. One more little overview. So yeah. Let me know how, what you guys think about the setup. If you have any improvements or anything you want, you think I should add or take away, let me know in the comments. I appreciate you all.